what's going on everybody welcome back to ways of the sith thank you so much for taking time to check out the channel please make sure to like comment subscribe and follow us on x and instagram at ways of the sith so doing a double symbiote review here with the target exclusive carnage and the walmart exclusive venom uh thankfully i was able to get my hands on both of these when they went up recently, the carnages on Target, I had the noti notification set, managed to snag two, and I managed to order two Venoms when the original order went through. Um, so I got two of each. I was able to keep one on card and have one to open and review. But these look awesome. Um, not necessarily animated versions of these characters. They could fit for your animated collection. But the Venom is more so Lethal Protector, and the Carnage is like Hive Mind Carnage, just kind of redecoed and reused. But they look good. Uh, I'm really excited to check them out. So let's get them open. All right, so here's our look at Venom outside of the box, and this might be like the definitive Venom body now going forward. Um, I would love to see them redo the cell shaded version on this, because the cell shaded version was very hard to get and is very loose um it's on older articulation so this being a little bit newer body uh really makes a difference on this figure i really like the look the head is really cool and i love the fact that like you can really pose this venom around and get him into all kinds of different looks the only thing I, I don't like with Venom is they don't give us any attachments and they don't give us like any tendrils. I know there's somebody online that like makes tendrils that you can buy to come, you know, have coming off his back there. That would be a nice little touch for Venom. Uh, I do have the attachments from the Space Venom. So we'll see how they look on this Venom as well. Um, I also have the half unmasked head. So we're going to take a look at how that looks as well. It comes with the non-tongue version, the more, you know, classic Lethal Protector McFarlane era look. Um, comes with fists, and then comes with the clawed hands that are on here. But I really like the size and the scale of this. So here's how he looks with the closed mouth, and this really kind of does give him a little bit of an animated series feel. So you might be able to get away with this with your animated series collection using this head. Uh, I really, really like the look of that. Oh, I also really like the look of this. This is the uh, Amazon exclusive Symbiote three pack Eddie head that came with that. And this looks absolutely amazing on this. This is probably how I'm gonna end up displaying him. I had this head on the Null Venom, but I really, really like the way this looks. I think this is like perfect version of Eddie with this look. So this this might be the winner right here. And because these arms are a little bit bigger, they do work with the Flash Thompson Space Venom attachments. So really cool. I like this. I'm definitely going to be using these probably with this Venom. I think this is the look right here, guys. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. I might give this one to one of the other Venoms, but I love the way that looks with the half Eddie head on here. I think that looks really, really perfect. And here's just a quick comparison with the cell shaded Venom and the Null Venom. I really like both the other ones. So getting this other one, it's just an added bonus for me, but I really think it's the perfect build for Venom going forward and that's probably the body it should be on. I don't mind the tall one. I think it looks great on that buck, but the new one is, is definitely a huge, huge improvement. Sorry, this is just a last minute addition, but this is the Venom head on the No Venom, and I really kind of dig this. Uh, as you can tell, my backdrop's down. I have already filmed the video, but I'm adding this in because I'm displaying it like this because I have the half Eddie head on the other version, and I think this looks incredible on this version. All right, so here's a look at Carnage outside of the package, and it looks like a cool figure. Um, it feels like a good figure. It moves pretty well. Um, but again, just the thing that's bugging me a bit is like the webbing on the carnage. Uh, it's a bit McFarlane, honestly, with the way it, it's done, but it, it does look cool, a lot cooler, I think, outside of the package than it is in, you know, in package. I do like the tendrils on the side and the legs there kind of just adds a little flair to it. Plus you get the tendrils that plug in on the back, which is a nice little touch just to give it a little bit more flair there, which is cool. And then you can probably 
take these and repaint them black if you want to put them on venom uh it might be a nice little thing but that does look cool and then you get the two attachments you get the axe attachment and you get like the sickle and again i'm glad that they actually put deco on these because with the animated one there was no deco on the attachments and it looks very very odd <laughs> so i'm glad that they did that with this one but it, it is much cooler outside of the box than I thought it was going to be um, in the package. Like I said, it kind of threw me off a bit, but this looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right, here's how he looks with the attachments. And yeah, this, this does look really, really cool. Um, it really is growing on me a lot more than it did originally, but... Now seeing it all put together with the backpack and the extra tendrils and the attachments, I, I really kind of like it. Uh, <laughs> really cool. Poses really well and isn't loose. The animated carnage was very loose. Um, it, it falls over a little bit, so I kind of have to lean it up against something. But this one is very sturdy and very durable and really, really cool. I actually am more of a fan of it than I was initially. <laughs> and side by side with the animated one, I, I gotta say I, I am liking the newer one much better. Um, I might end up swapping heads or swapping unmasked heads on it and see how it looks. But I still think I'll keep the animated one in my animated display and use this one for my regular comic book display. But I'm on the fence. Let me know in the comments what you guys think or should I should kit bash this a little bit and make like an ultimate carnage <laughs> well that'll do it for today overall i really really am a fan of both of these figures uh, especially out of the package they look incredible i did put the animated carnage head on this body and i think it looks a lot better because it's got the elongated face the only thing is this doesn't have the teeth like the other one does so it it's kind of your preference and what you prefer i just kind of like, like the way this looks i have the cletus cassidy unmasked head on the animated one so this one wasn't being used, but no matter what head you end up going with, like I said, I think I'm going to go with the Eddie head on here just because it, I think it looks perfect. Um, I, I think both of these figures are really well done and great additions to the Spider-Man display, whether it's animated, whether it's comic book or whatever. I think these are really awesome and must have. So if you can track them down, make sure to pick them up and let me know in the comments what you guys think if you're going to be picking them up if you're passing on them if you weren't able to get them um i suggest favoriting them and adding them to your your favorites on either target or walmart and this way when they come back in stock they'll notify you and you can get a chance to pick them up but thanks again so much for taking time to check out the video please make sure to like comment subscribe and as always may the force be with you this is the ways we would be honored if you would join us